Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am going to play a little bit of Heyday with you guys. And today I would like to show you my tricks for how I use the town within Heyday. Specifically, how I make sure that I'm always derby ready when there is a derby task that involves the town. So we're going to go over to the town. And as you can see, I've got a lot of guys waiting outside of the buildings that have been served. Some you can see that they're holding presents, others are not. So I'm not going to collect any of them because I'm on a derby task right now that is a wool task, which is not very fun because it takes forever to do. So, in the meantime, though, I want to make sure that if I do get a derby task that uses the town, that I'm ready to do it. So, I'm going to go check out my town hall. And I don't have anybody idle, because they are all already in their buildings. Nobody's waiting, because they are either all ready or still being served. So, let's see, I have one guy still being served in the bed and breakfast. All the rest are ready. So, right now, what I'm going to do is I am going to only collect the people that are not, have not been fully served. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because if I get a train task, when I get a train task, because I like to take train tasks, I can just go right into my town hall. And literally just collect the rewards on everyone who is already ready. And as you can see, most of the guys are already fully served. So, I'm not going to collect those. Um, normally, I would also not collect on anyone that I have more than four of the same person waiting in the town. Because if I get like the task that is to collect the salesman, then I already have most of them ready and I can just collect them and then finish that task as well. So, um, but since I'm on this wool task that is taking forever, I am going to go and collect the ones that I've only served them once or twice. So I'm going to go through here really fast. And select their reward. And if you don't already know, the town is a really good way to make coins and get XP. I don't really focus too much on the like the town reputation points per se because it takes so many of them to actually level up to the next level like I'm level 33 right now in the town and I need like 30,000 more uh 30,000 more reputation points to level up to 34 and that I mean that's literally going to be months so I really only care about the game xp and the coins although I have 7.8 million coins, so I guess I don't really care about that too much either. However, I do care about mainly making sure that my town is ready for the derby tasks so I can complete them quickly. Anyway, okay, so now that I've collected those, I'm going to go to my idle tab and I'm going to start serving them. I don't really have a method to which building I decide to put them in, other than the fact that if it was like nighttime and I was about to go to sleep, then I would pick the building that takes the longest to serve. So like if it was nighttime right now, it's four o'clock in the afternoon where I'm at. So uh, I would pick the B&B &B if I was about to go to bed and then that could you know take its four hours or whatever while I'm sleeping. But I'm gonna put them in the diner instead because it doesn't take that long. 
Okay, so now I have no more people that are idle. And now I'm going to, again, using the town hall, I'm going to go and serve everybody. No, I have no fish. Okay. Okay, so everyone's been served except for the one guy because I don't have any fish. So I'll just have to go fishing in a few minutes, but that's not really that important right now. Okay, so they're all being served. And then basically, now I'm just going to wait. And since this is currently, we are in a bingo derby. In our bingo derby, I'm going to show you guys. One of the ones that we're waiting for, like that's on our lines, is the teacher right here. So, and the salesman too, because we are trying to go for this bottom line and then this right side line and then this diagonal line here. And we have to save the egg task for last. Otherwise, if we complete a line, then the derby's like the bingo derby part of it's over. And we want to go for three lines. We've only ever managed to complete two in my neighborhood, and we have a really awesome neighborhood. So, if you guys want to join my neighborhood, I will post um, our neighborhood tag in the comment section. Uh, we have room, I think, right now for two neighbors because we had to kick somebody out and someone left. So, yeah, okay. So, anyway, so like, since I know that I'm going to be trying to get this either the teacher or the salesman. I'm going to wait, and I'm pretty sure that I saw that I already have. Okay, so I have three salesmen, so I would need some more, but I can't get any more right now because um, I'm at capacity in my town. But I wouldn't go pick them up right now anyway, just because in case another neighbor needs them, but they're actually on the task, they wouldn't want to take it away from me. But I'm almost positive that I have nine of the teachers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight of them, so I would only need one more of her to do that task, which means that if that task comes up, once I'm done with my wool, I'm totally going to grab her and then literally just collect all of her and then only have to serve one more of that person in order to finish that task super fast. So that is my strategy with the town. Um, yeah. I don't normally collect anybody unless I need it for a task. So. I mean, I'm not sure if that's the best strategy if you're like a super low level player and you're trying to get XP and coins, but it definitely works really well if you are trying to take town tasks for the derby. So anyway, that is my tricks for the town. I'm using it for the derby. And I hope that if you guys didn't already know that, that it gave you some good ideas. So I'm going to make some more videos, not today, but um, I'm going to try and make videos on a daily basis. So if you guys want to see me make more Haiti videos, please hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much.